रहमान रहीम स्टार्टिंग विद द नेक्स्ट मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक इन फोरेंसिक मेडिसिन इज ट्रामाटोलॉजी दिस इज द स्टडी ऑफ ट्रामा एंड एवरी डॉक्टर हैज टू बिकम इन इंटरेक्शन इन हिज लाइफ and just by looking at the injury we can determine what is the causative agent what type of injury it is it is a lacerated wound it is a incised wound or it is a gunshot wound so in this topic we will try to understand we we'll try to learn what are the factors which are responsible in causation of injuries how they change the appearance of injury a single weapon by wearing certain factors can change the appearance of wound so starting with the topic this is also called mechanical injuries mechanical mean there are certain mechanics involved there are certain physical mechanics which are involved in the causation of the injuries so starting with the first lecture and in this we'll try to learn various definitions regarding trauma and various other legal terms which are synonymously used for trauma or injury then the terms which are used in qisas and diyat law qisas is khoon baha compensation or the punishment in the same amount as the culprit has caused to the victim then the diyat diyat is the monetary uh, compensation so every injury every trauma has to be determined regarding not only the amount of damage but the compensation which is to be awarded as per law so we'll learn that then what are various classifications of trauma and the most important which is the medical legal classification then how the heart is classified in qisas and diyat ordinance this is all together a different type of classification we will study them then what are the mechanisms involved in the wound production and what are various components of trauma because the components which are responsible for the causation of trauma they are the factors which change the appearance of the wound so for us it is important to learn that what are various components which are the same factors responsible in changing the appearance of the wound so trauma is the physical or structural damage physical or structural damage to the body by the application of physical force or energy and logi we know that is the science or the study so in simple word it's the study of injuries so traumatology is a science which deals with the study of injuries so traumatology is the science which deals with the study of structural or physical damage on the body by the application of physical force or energy that's why it is called mechanical injury because there are physical forces there are mechanics in the causation of injuries now these are the synonymous words which are commonly used and we must understand the basic concept of these words injury injury is any break in the continuity of the tissues the coverings
skin or the viscera the covering of the viscera or the body as a skin so any breach in the continuity of the coverings or lining externally or internally is known as injury and similarly the wound is also termed as the uh, break in the continuity so the wound and the injury as per medical terms they are same because pathologically the concept is same because it is the breach in the continuity in the integrity of the tissues of the covering of the body of the viscera whereas pakistan penal code which is the law ppc injury is not only the physical damage the injury means as per pakistan penal code any harm caused to another person to body mind repute and property so it includes not only the physical damage but also the mental sufferings the damage to the reputation of the person or the damage to the property so as per pakistan penal code injury is when any harm illegally caused to another person by anyone to body mind repute and property but under kasas and diet ordinance in 1991 this law was imposed first it became as an ordinance can you differentiate what is meant by law and what is meant by ordinance sadar sadar kyun issue karta hai when the parliament is not in vogue when the parliament is not present and there is the system which is led by the presidential system by uh, martial law or any other then the president issues an ordinance and that is for a certain time period for 3 months for 6 months and after that it has to be repealed if not parliament is in session and ordinance when enacted by the parliament approved by the parliament it becomes law so first it came as kisas in the ordinance and then it was enacted as law in 1991 and they has explained another term hurt in kasas and dietnan all the injuries they come under hurt now a little about the hurt is it not only covers the physical damage because it is more in elaborate form because the in ppc the injury the it is not as explained or as well elaborated as in kisas and diet ordinance it is as per layer damage per cutaneous damage up to muscles damage up to bones bone involved or not bone fractured so it is in more elaborate form then the most important is this is not only limited to the physical damage but they have to fix the amount of damage to determine the compensation kisas and diet so the compensation has to be according to the physical suffering so that's why the hurt is is more elaborated form and it is enacted and imposed currently in pakistan so it not only awards punishment to the culprit but the compensation is awarded to the sufferer
So the injuries we have to recognize and explain as per the legal terms. The legal terms are fixed terms. We cannot change them. Because, and when we say a particular term, like example, I give you some example, that in hurt, according to Qisas and the ordinance, we say Shajja. Shajja is an Arabic word, but Shajja means any injury on the head and face. So it explains what the word is communicating. So we should elaborate the terms as per legal definitions and we should not change it because it changes the meaning. No, in PPC the injuries they are under 319 PPC. Injuries, they are defined under section 319. And then there was another section 320 which was for grievous hurts. So in PPC there are only two terms, simple injury or grievous injury. Grievous, I will explain what they meant in PPC, what are grievous and what are simple. But now in Kisas and Diyot ordinance, the, both the sections of PPC 319 and 320, they are replaced by 320 of Kisas and Diyot ordinance. They come all the injuries in Kisas and Diyot ordinance under section 320. Previously, the legal terms which were for grievous hurts, you yourself will differentiate what is the amount of damage and they are classified only in one heading as grievous hurts. For example, in 320 grievous hurts, the hurts were emasculation, removal of both the testes, it is a grievous hurt. Then loss of eye, loss of ear permanent impairment of joint, permanent disfigurement, fracture of tooth. Can you compare the amount of damage fracture of tooth with emasculation? But they are under the same hurt, same section, same punishment. But the Kasas and the ordinance, it is more elaborative form. So that's why we have repealed it. It also includes under 320 grievous hurt that if any hurt impairs the normal pursuits of the person for 21 days, then it will become under grievous hurt. Now, hurt in Kisas and the authorities. It's a more elaborate term. According to Kisas and the ordinance, the hurt mean whosoever causes. So just add to pain, harm, disease, infirmity, injury, or impairing, disabling, dismembering any organ of the body or part. So all these from pain to dismembering, disfigurement, all includes in hurt. So whosoever illegally cause pain, harm, disease, disfigurement, infirmity, impairing, dismembering, disabling, and any organ or part or body is said to cause hurt. And important is without causing death. So injury should be up to the level that the death should not occur because if the death is there then it will become under Kisas and the ordinance as Katal. So that is a different law for. So without causing death, so whosoever illegally cause pain, harm, disease, injury, infirmity, disabling, dismemberment, severing, disfiguring of the body or any part without causing death is said to cause hurt in Kisas.